On screen. Weapons or advance. It's more like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, tiny whiny stuff. Open a channel. All vipers, break, break, break! Impossible to see the future. This is the emergency holographic doctor speaking. You wish the energy talking. Helmsman laid a new course. Watch how I saw it. Now, it's gone completely. Engage. Hello, and welcome to the Save South Podcast. That, Wow. I, I haven't even made it three words in and I've already screwed the damn thing up. Uh, oh, well. Impressive. You get Most that. <laughs> you get that. Anyway, welcome to Save Sci-Fi Podcast. I'm your host, David. Joining me today, we have Amy. Hey, all. We have Stuart. Good evening. We have Eugene. Hello. And we have Simon from the indie production 3010, The Righteous Path. How's it going? Um, so, first up, before we get started, uh, Stuart has a little... Um, thing to say, so I'll let him go away with that now. Yes, unfortunately last week there was a disturbance in the force, a very sad disturbance. For those who have been following uh, social media, uh, Daniel Fleetwood pa- passed away last uh, last week. Uh, for those who don't know who he was, he uh, was the Star Wars fan that had a terminally ill cancer that wasn't going to make it to the Force Awakens uh, premiere. So... Kindly enough, Disney, J.J. Abrams, Lucasfilm um, managed to get him to see the film. Yeah, the unfinished version of the film. So, the... so unfortunately, sad, sad news that Daniel mm. passed away. Yeah. Mourn him. But in the wise words of Master Yoda, mourn him do not, miss him do not. Yeah. But... I just think it's awesome that he was able to uh, see it. It's kind of like fanboys, you know? Yeah, exactly. Oh, EJ's here. <laughs> I was about to say yes. Hurricane EJ <laughs> has joined the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> all, like, all I heard like, is EJ coming is just wind. I was like, it's like, wait, are you, are you just tornado? Yes. <laughs> live? Did I like just break in in the middle, like randomly of the, of the live yep. podcast? Oh yes. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were just doing a dedication to um, Daniel, the Star Wars super fan. They got to watch the episode um, seven early. So, yeah, that's what I figured. So. Yeah. Uh, anyway, it's time to move on to 3010 The Righteous Path. Hey. Um, 30, a couple of weeks ago, me and Amy got a chance to uh, duck down the road to one of the cinemas and actually catch the preview screening of 3010 The Righteous Path. Was it a preview screening or is it a premiere screening or something? Something like that? Yeah, <laughs> well, we... um. We made a, a short film, which was a, basically a short proof of concept film um, for the television series we're shopping around at the moment. But that was the first public screen of that. Uh, Sorry, two seconds. EJ, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm walking around a gas station. <laughs> All we can hear is... Rub, 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 rub. Sounds like you're eating your phone. <laughs> <laughs> Technically, you have to be using a phone there, I guess. Right on, here, is that better now? Yes, that's better. <laughs> okay, now I'll commence eating the phone. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, sorry about that, um, Simon. That's all right. Where were you up to? Uh, uh, <laughs> what did you hear? <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should repeat. Well, basically, yeah, what you saw was the um, the concept, the proof of concept uh, short film we made just uh, for the television series that we're shopping around at the moment. So, uh, yeah, that that was that. Um, so yeah, you're about one of 200 people that have seen it so far. Yeah, it was it was definitely really good, and you could you could feel the sort of the considering the amount of time you had to film it. You said you only had about four days or so. Yeah, it's all like being indie. It's all very low budget, low time. So we were rushing through to get done. We had yeah about four days to to, to do all the shooting, which yeah. was which was a lot because we had a ma- rather major sort of fight sequence in there, which you know I'd love to spend. Four days on that. Yeah. So uh, we only had a uh, a day. I, I dedicated a day to do that, and so the rest of the story we kind of crammed into three days. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No, it was a lot of fun. Ded- dedicated crew. So um, it was good to get through it. Yeah, it was. It was definitely really good and definitely worth watching. It's interesting. Yeah. Um. The general premise. I'm assuming it follows the dude with the sword, whose name I've 
I'm sorry, it's been two weeks. Oh, that's I'm, right. They're crazy my... names. It's sci-fi. Just crazy. Yeah. My... <laughs> basically, yeah. Well, basically, it's just standard Earth's been invaded by an alien force, um, and we follow the survivors of that um, as they basically eke out a living in in the ruins of of Earth. Yeah. So yeah. So um, hiding favorite... from the aliens. I think my favorite sci-fi name ever is Gazuntite. Gazun. <laughs> that's not bad. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's good. So, so I guess our gimmick is we, we've got uh, some super soldiers in there because uh, the idea was that the Earth forces developed the Wolverine-type super soldiers to, to fight off the aliens, but yeah. they failed. Yeah. And so it, so um, some of the survivors are those guys. So it's fun to kind of reveal them and their powers. Yeah, it was effectively the equivalent of your guys' Spartan program from Halo. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, and it follows... the. Preview that we saw follows um, the main. I'm assuming he's the main character, uh, he, he, or one of the one, main characters. Yeah. yeah. Um, Actually, the TV series probably probably um, focuses a bit more on the villain um, Victor, who's played yeah. by John Bachelor in there. That was, yeah, he was good. I liked him. Was yeah. he the one who was about to get killed and didn't get killed? That's him. Spoilers, yeah. Amy. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was trying to work out if he got killed or not. No, no, he, he had too much information to be killed. Yeah. Doesn't stop him from being tortured to death. <laughs> so, I've got to get you on the writing team. You're nasty. Jeez. <laughs> he's spoken like a true Seth. Jeez. <laughs> oh, Amy. Small and pleasant until she gets stabby and then she's scary and running and <laughs> screaming fantastic. and... <laughs> Sometimes I'm glad I, ha- I'm glad I have a lightsaber next to me. That's <laughs> sweet and innocent. They're the most terrifying types of people. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so anyway, um, so that the story picks off with a girl escaping from what is effectively almost sex slavery or the equivalency of. Yeah, well, the idea is that um, the main TV series is set around a kind of a, a makeshift town that the survivors have, or some of the survivors have got together, yeah. and it's it's kind of like the Wild West. So you, she's basically half sex slave, half proper worker. Ow, EJ. <laughs> but, Sorry, I got it. Was that, was that like a beat? Did I say something like non PG? Is that a sure? Yeah, yeah, sure. If you have small children around, cover their ears or just start going la 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 really loudly. Does this mean I can cuss now? <laughs> Frack, yeah. Um, Jay. Frow you bit. <laughs> so, sorry. Anyway, continue. Yeah. So it's said in this. Uh, town we, we call it jersey town and um yeah so it's a bit of a bit of wild west so you got your brothels and your unsavory types uh, and so she was basically a sex worker in there who'd um who'd betrayed uh victor the main guy and um stolen some information and uh, headed out because uh because victor's secretly working for the aliens and she sort of got onto that and had a bit of a gripe with it yeah. i wonder why i wonder why yeah exactly uh, yeah. So, I mean, so I, I guess the, the themes of the TV show are really trying to deal with what, what would you do in a world without any laws? Yeah. I and mean, how, you know, does violence prevail or do you try and work things out nicely? Yeah. No. Look at Somalia. Yeah. You don't want to know the answer to that question. E- yeah, yeah. E- EJ's answer would be to dance around in a ballerina costume and let everyone else assume you're totally insane and just leave you alone. <laughs> Town, man. Right <laughs> <laughs> James, James just this? said in the chat, um, my second name, blood. There must be blood. <laughs> oh, and some guy lost his finger. Yeah, that was that was messed up. It was messed up. Yeah. yeah. And then yeah, so, so it, I mean, I guess it's a, it's an action sci-fi. So we're trying to yeah. put in as much blood and gore and action and bit of sex as we can to you know. Was there a Wilhelm scream anywhere? Oh, sorry, what sorry, was that? Was there a Wilhelm scream anywhere? There was. Did there you miss was. it? There no, was. He wasn't there. Oh, right. Sorry. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah there, there was a Wilhelm scream. We're going, we're going to try and get one in every episode. Good. <laughs> good. Are, um, are you going to sneak a TARDIS in? I'm determined to have every <laughs> sci-fi project have a TARDIS in the background somewhere. One shot, one episode, that's all. Just um, oh, right. <laughs> well, I mean, Jersey Town's full of all old relics and knickknacks, so I'm sure maybe some, some fan full-size replica TARDIS might have made it through. <laughs> I'm trying to convince the guys at Garrison 7 to, to have a TARDIS in every episode, but they won't. Oh. <laughs> What's with that? 
It's like, I, so I don't want a full-size TARDIS and everything. They just have like a keychain pop up just for a split second on the screen. And then the next episode, it's like a little figure on a table somewhere that they happen to walk past. That's brilliant. <laughs> So, I'll, ta- I'll, I'll take that to everyone. I think that's a goer. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm, I'm just waiting for the nobility Doctor Who crossover. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be as bad as the Star Trek Doctor Who crossover. <laughs> I like that. The comic? <laughs> I, I didn't know I that like existed. That. that sounds great. There's, it's Matt Smith's Doctor and the Cyberman and uh, Picard and the Borg. Wow. I, I you make it your... sound like Picard and the Borg are allies. And Matt no, no. Smith is allied with the Cybermen. No, no, just naming them verse per universe. It's Matt Smith and Picard versus the Borg and the Cybermen. And let's be honest, the Borg and the Cybermen at this point are effectively the same thing anyway. You will be upgraded. Yeah, one, <laughs> one is upgrade, one is, one is assimilate. It's like, yeah. yeah. Either way, they think you're, they're bringing you closer to perfection. Exactly. That's yeah. perfection, truthfully. Yeah. Yeah. So it's all from a place of love. Exactly. It's what I am and you're not. <laughs> I'd hope so. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Mm. I'm really not that much of an asshole. I'm close, <laughs> but not that much. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, um, the, the general story was it started off with her escaping and then moved into the room where you saw the guy had been very, very messed up, getting roughed up. Then um, I'm just going to call him Wolverine because yeah. his name is... Oh, it's, it's Aaron if you want to call him Aaron. Aaron, Aaron. Yeah. Wow. He, I... he was a he's a super soldier. Sweet. I actually know a guy by the name by that name. I think I'd be able to yeah. After him. after naming him Aaron, I actually met a guy. Mm-hmm. Actually, the 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 singer from um, the Amity the Amity Affliction. Nice. No, I was referencing Aaron Ra, who's one of the guy big guys on YouTube. Oh, of course. Yeah, and him as well. Yeah. Um. Anyway. Um. Aaron rocks up and he's sort of tasked with bringing her back and hunting her down and he goes off and sort of he's he's actually wearing um and I, I picked this because I actually own one <laughs> the blade sword yeah yeah I've actually got it sitting on just literally right behind me right now oh really <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's awesome um and yeah he wanders off and eventually catches up to her and tries to bring her back and is a sort of convinced to not bring her back and then she stabs him which for some reason makes him um horny the, the correct word is happy inverted commas <laughs> air quotes for radio and they have some quote fun um together still think that's the weirdest way to get happy but yeah the world comes in all types <laughs> it's a crazy messed up world yeah <laughs> then um the big boss dude turns up Breaks up their fun, um, so to speak, and proceeds to have a massive fight scene, which was really cool, by the way. I like that fight it's, scene. Yeah, no, we had some great stunties and great a great fight choreographer um, and great stunt coordinator, so yeah. it was good. Yeah. Um, After he nearly beheaded her and then shot her. That's right. Yeah, and that, the, the, the reflexes to get the hand in the way was pretty good. Yeah, um, it didn't work. Oh, not in a million years was that going to stop the bullet. <laughs> it's the thought that counts. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> and she gets messed up, um, and then he proceeds to destroy everybody there. He effectively goes full Vegeta. <laughs> he does. And um, pins down the big boss guy, gets the information out of him that he wants. Um, it's left open as to whether he was killed or not. We won't ruin it for anyone. Unless, <laughs> was, I can't remember if we mentioned it earlier or not. Shh. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, so so hopefully the, um, the, the proof, proof of concept short to leave things open and um, yeah. has unanswered questions, sort of stimulates people to want to know more and watch the television series. Exactly. Yeah. And yeah, I'd, I'd definitely be looking forward to that series based on what we saw. Ah, oh, cheers. It looks like... It looks interesting. Yeah, it looks really interesting, really good concept, and I'm very curious as to where you're going to take it. Um, it's massive universe to explore. You can go back, you can do sort of story set in the war, you can do st- story set all over the place. So yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to it. And then all the house lights came up, and there was an end of credit scene that no one could see. <laughs> That's right. Well, you have to, have to wait till online. There was a bit of a glitch there in the programming. <laughs> so that was pretty funny. Yeah. Yeah. It would have been really hard to carry her that way. 
Yeah. <laughs> to bend. To I heard it be carried. Over the shoulder. Oh, right. No, in his arms. Oh, in his arms. At the end? Yeah. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, he's and super she's... soldier. He's super strong. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean physically, really. Yeah. Oh, in re- in, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, well, Michael, um, the, the actor there, he also um, helped, he wrote it and um, produced it with me. He's uh, He hit the gym big time for that role, as you could, yeah, you could tell. Looked, yeah, he looked in <laughs> good shape. Yeah. So I think even for him, it wasn't too hard. Yeah. As, yeah. as, long, as long as you're, you've, you've got enough upper strength, you'll be fine. And yeah. also, no, and also the girl bending that way. Oh, yeah. That, yeah, that probably wouldn't have been very comfortable. <laughs> but, yeah. Anyway. It, cool. Yeah. Is there any sort of spoilers that you want to sort of hint about? You don't have to ruin it, but just hint about any pu- future sort of scenarios you'd be looking at doing if it is picked up as a TV series? Sort of what direction uh-huh. you want to take it sort of thing? Yeah, well, I mean, I guess the base, the major conflicts are there's a few factions. One is obviously Victor in, in Jersey Town, and his, I mean, his opus, uh, I mean, his his plan is basically just to keep that town together and keep power of the town. So he's thinking, you know, yeah, we might be ru- uh, ruled by aliens, but that's fine as long as I can, you know, eke my life out here. Yeah. Then you've got another another faction, um, which is the resistance fighters. We caught a glimpse of at the end of the short film. And they're, um, they're out to try and take back the planet. So there's a bit of a conflict between them and Victor because Victor's got a lot of resources. Yeah. Um, and so they try and get him on board to try and fight the aliens. So, I mean, if, if it goes ahead in a, in a few seasons, we'll probably start to focus more on the fight between the humans and the aliens. Yeah. But in the first season, as it stands, it's more about the humans and them sorting out their own sort of internals. Yeah. The, the aliens kind of play a secondary role in the first season. Yeah. Well, you could see them sort of playing a secondary role in the in the short whenever they sort of turn up, everyone's scurried and hid and... It's sort of hinted that if they're caught, that's going to be very bad for them. So, yeah, that's right. So, I mean, it's basically um, enslavement, or so there. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. yeah. Sorry, is, is now a bad time to point out? I have no idea what you guys are talking about. <laughs> yeah. I should. I, I should if, if I'd known, I would have hooked you guys all up with some sort of online screening. No. Yeah, I, I thought about it the other day at work, and then I totally forgot about it because, like, I'm not allowed to use my phone at work. I couldn't sort of message anyone about it. So, ah, yeah. And it wasn't until sort of this morning when I woke up, and I'm like, yeah, it's probably a bit late now. <laughs> what, what's, what's the project called? Uh, the project is called uh, the, the 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 TV series is just called Thirty Ten, as in the year. Okay, and is this something yeah. like you're doing, or is this like something in Australia, or? Yeah, well, there, there's a few. There's a few of us where um, we're basically just um, speaking to producers who've had experience of getting um, TV shows up and going, and uh, we've we've shopped it around at a couple of the um, the I guess the networks you'd call them, um, yeah. and we're getting getting some positive feedback and some great interest. So yeah, it's very oh, so, so this is this is your show, and and you like shot the pilot, and now you're trying to get it get it out there and get get distro. Yeah, well, we didn't do a pilot. We did a like basically just a little short uh, proof of concept because we we didn't have the money to do a full pilot. Um, but yeah, but apart from that, yeah, you got it. That's that's what we're up to. Okay, it's kind of where, where, what we're doing with with uh, my project. So that yeah. Oh, cool. Love to would love to take a look at it. Yeah. Yeah, and and likewise, what's your project? Nobility. Ah, oh, nobility. Cool. Can can, yeah. can, oh, can, like, can we see that yet, or is it? Uh, we just premiered it at a at a kamikaze, and we're working on getting uh, getting uh, 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 stuff together so we can start uh, you know showing it to folks who are who are overseas and you know friends and stuff and and likewise. So yeah, I mean, we definitely we I can uh, give me a little bit and, and I can get you uh, get you working. Cool, I'll do the same. Appreciate it. Yeah, it's de- it's definitely looks like it's going to be good. So. Anyway, it's about time we move on to the next segment, which is a funny, fun little one that I just threw together the other day, just because I was bored, and I saw a post on EJ's wall. So EJ, you can read the you can read the ones off your your comments on your Facebook if you can bring them up and have a look. The task. Uh, what's, the what, task what, what is. Let me, let me finish. Let me finish. I'll tell you what it is. The task. Why? Tell a, tell a sci-fi story. The catch: you get six words. Go. 
Oh god, that was like the most popular thing on my Facebook for the longest time. Yeah, I know. So I already um, see a funny answer on the one we ha on on the Facebook page. Yeah. Star Trek versus a space midget. That was my. <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> They did that. It was called the First Federation with a carbamite maneuver. <laughs> uh, my favorite one would have been oh, no, um, just... Asimov, who yelled the angry robots. <laughs> the one above that. Oh. Oh, yeah, that one we just we just well, yeah. yeah. We'll leave that one. <laughs> Red shirt bean to planet died. <laughs> yep. My okay, one so, on EJ's so was very question. similar. Beam in a carnage. Um, yellow shirts live. <laughs> uh, mine was the invasion from above wasn't thwarted. <laughs> I've just found a really funny one. So we're making a Michael Bay movie? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I could have not read that one out. That is great. Okay, okay. So our, our web designer slash graphic designer slash all around Mexican because he does everything. Um, we just call him our Mexican. Uh... <laughs> Because he is Mexican. Uh, <laughs> I'm Mexican. Wow. <laughs> I, I, I'm half. I'm half. I can say these things. Amer uh, America in a nutshell, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm half Mexican. I'm Latino. I can say it. <laughs> so nobody believes me, but I am. No. Uh, uh, anyway, he, he posts, I like eating hamburgers and fries. And I'm like, that's that's not a story. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a, I've just found a really I just found a really funny one. My name is Thumble Pop the Second. <laughs> oh God! Doctor well, Who play with the Stargate. I like this. I shot Jar Jar Binks dead. <laughs> <laughs> that one. <laughs> um, oh, no, there's another one I found. It, it, um, oh, where was it? It was a really funny one. Um, 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 um. I'm trying because I, I have them all open now. It's like, shh. Uh, oh, uh, robots are in charge, but they hate Siri. <laughs> this one is Eating a... news on they landed. Uh -huh. This is this is a really good sci-fi story. This is from Alan at my work. He's such a smart ass. Anyway, God is real and created everything. <laughs> That's I, I, a good story. <laughs> I, I could see the Bible translated as a sci-fi <laughs> story. You've got an ark which is a TARDIS. Or a Stargate. Hmm. TARDIS because it's bigger on the inside. How else do you fit a gajillion species? <laughs> I just found a really funny one. <laughs> then Darth Vader peed on her and that's how it finishes. <laughs> <laughs> oh! As long as he doesn't pee on himself because there, there goes the suit. <laughs> wow, Andy went a little bit crazy, didn't yes. he? Yeah. It's like, wow, lots and lots of different Andys. <laughs> Fuck me, a ray gun thought. Hmm. The ones I posted seem to have disappeared unless I can't find them. Yeah, I, can't I, have... I can't see them on here either. I was looking for them to read them out. Yeah, we, don't, we, I have... we don't delete comments, so I don't know what the hell's going on with that. Yeah, because I had one, um, uh, Star Trek, The End of Canon. <laughs> <laughs> and it basically okay. says, uh, what's left, J.J. Uh, J. Abrams destroys... <laughs> a pocket dimension oh, full of links. Dinner before J.J. Abrams apologized for Star Trek in the Darkness. Yeah, no one believes him. Uh, no one believes me. So, <laughs> Jack no, Abrams. Abrams. Um, James, James just commented. Um, someone stole the comments. I suspect Fox Channel. <laughs> 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 I had uh, Star Trek Revenge of the Red Shirts. <laughs> Through the ozone uh, hole they came. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I, don't, I don't know where they went. <laughs> oh, this, this one's a really good one. For hire, one ship needs crew. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If that is not a... Um, what's it called? Like you could so make like a side. You a, could so that's... make like a red dwarf show with that. No, no, that's Firefly, dude. Oh, that's true. That's true. Sort of the first ep literally the first episode yeah. of Firefly. But still, uh, you could so, make a, you could so make a red dwarf out of that. Nineteen eighty six aliens because Prometheus suck balls. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> uh, one of the ones I had was we lost our planet. We took yours. Oh, I saw that one. That was a good one. That yeah. was a good one. We grew too large. Now we need more. Yeah. I time traveled to kill Hitler. <laughs> and put Classic. him in a closet. <laughs> the IRS is no more. <laughs> <laughs> and for all, all those Aussies who don't know what the IRS is, that's the U.S. Tax Service, Internal yeah. Revenue Service. Yeah, no, I know what the IRS is. <laughs> well, I know you guys do, but not every, but not all the listeners might. So, yeah. Yeah. once upon a kablooey, the end. <laughs> <laughs> I love how I was only laughed. Um. So, so yeah. Anyway, I just thought we'd have a little bit of fun in the middle of the podcast, just for a change. Because we never have fun on this podcast. Oh, no, never, never. It's always boring and bland. and It's too much depression out at the moment. Yeah. So, anyway, yeah. let's shift gears again and jump to a really quick chat about Doctor Who. Ow. I love the recent episode. Oh, yeah. it's This season has been really good, with the exception of the Viking two-parter. Really? You didn't I like the Vikings? Like no, I... I... It felt like it was forced as a two-parter. Too stretched. Well, I like the girl. I, I like what's her face from Game of Thrones. Oh yeah, I, I like the concept. It, she's but a it, it, amazing it, actress. Yeah, I like the concept, but it just felt like it should have been two separate episodes. It didn't feel right being one long episode. Like I understand why they did it, but it just didn't. Yeah. Yeah, my question is, what the hell happened to to, to Clara in the second part of the two-parter? <coughs> just like just cares. Uh, well, the Doctor does just dump her randomly on the planet and disappear in between going out with her, so... Doesn't that usually happen with any of his women yeah. he ca- takes with him? So, well, he leaves yeah, on Earth because she's got a like, It's like she's there for the first part, like the first episode, and then all of a sudden she's gone for the next one, and I could kind of understand why they chose not to have her in the second part because of the whole, like, him and, and Game of Thrones girls, uh, I can't think of her name, I'm sorry, um, yeah. were, were like so similar and they're kind of explaining why he chooses the companions he does and, and how young they are, which is something they've they've he's touched on before with, uh, I think it was with Amy or something, where he chooses them because they help him, they help, they're kind of like a touchstone for him. Yeah. Um, but, so I can kind of understand why, I just would have liked to have a little bit of an explanation. Well, I think the main reason she wasn't in it was so that they could have that moment at the end of the episode where she's like, oh, look, this that person, you helped do the thing. Here, have a look at the photo, and you see her in the background. Macy Williams, is that her name? Yes, yeah, Macy Williams is the actress, and the character's name is a Shilda. I actually remembered her name. <laughs> I never remember names. I am really happy about remembering a name. The fact that it was right is like a... Bonus. <laughs> what? What's my name, David? Bob. <laughs> At least it's not. Oh my God! Last week with Jeremy was evil. It was just oh, evil. I yeah, dude. Seriously, my brain. <laughs> yeah. just... Hi, Justin. If you're listening out. <laughs> yeah, sh- shut up. <laughs> my brain is not working. <laughs> Don't do names. Um. Oh, so what's new? I, I just suck with names. That's that's why the reason I don't remember is I just suck with names. Faces, I know faces. I'm good with faces. Names, it's too hard. My brain just doesn't keep it. <laughs> Can't help. Yeah, uh, and, the oh, same one. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. The most recent one, the uh, not the most recent one, the one before that, um, with the Zygons. That was brilliant. The first part was a little bit sort of eh, but the second part was really really good. And that speech. Oh, that oh, yeah. speech. That's gonna go down. Yeah. As, Every doctor has that speech. This is going yeah. to go down as his. Well, what I like about about that episode, and, and spoiler alert, spoiler alert, um, was that it wasn't the first time that had happened. Yeah, exactly. So, and the fact that they keep increasing the number of Osgoods. <laughs> 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 There's always two. No more, no less. Yeah, the, J- James agrees. He, he, James says he loves the Osgood concept. So, yeah. Yeah, it was really, really good. And the boxes, sort of, <laughs> the, the, the truth or consequences. That was, that was really well done. 
if you press one of these buttons, you will kill all of you. They do the exact opposite of what you want. Or if you press the right button, it will do exactly what you want it to do. Spoiler alert, the boxes are empty. <laughs> so, but yeah, it was, it was really good. And then, I have absolutely no reason to watch the episode at all between our spoilers. Meh. Meh. It's their fault for not watching it. And then the uh, most recent episode was... This, the Sandman? Yeah. Yeah, that was yeah. another one of those sort of... He's got a habit of turning innocent things into terrifying nightmares. Yeah, well, the way, like, the the end monologue... Uh, yeah. It was just like... Oh, f- uh, to be honest, though, I was just watching it, and I, I kind of cracked on, on the who the bad guy was, like, halfway through the episode. I was like, I know who the bad guy is. And yeah. Joe was like, huh? I was like, you'll find out. Yeah. It's not that hard to figure out. Yeah. But the whole the whole dust... Oh, yeah. The That's... whole... The way everything worked was really cool, but really creepy. So, <laughs> so what has he made terrifying <laughs> now? He's made... He's made... Um, angel statues terrifying. He's made shadows terrifying. He's... Uh... Shadows have always been terrifying. Yeah. Um, what other bad guys he's got? The the Sandman is made terrifying. Was I, I think he made the, the silence. Riders. The Judon. The Judon. They're, they're not scary. They're sort of cuddly. Um, <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> in a horny oh, face kind of way. Oh, he made weight loss pills scary. Uh. So, yeah. The adipo- the adipo. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, it's just. It's, what is it with Doctor Who and going? You know what? This is innocent and cute and cuddly, and it'll kill you. <laughs> it's like, wait, what? <laughs> is that just like every anime? Now, pretty much. Yeah. Just. Ooh, just... books are scary too. Yeah. So yeah. I like um. I've kind of read the um. The, uh, I won't go into much detail, but I've read the synopsis for the last two episodes, and oh boy. Yeah. Yeah, I'm doing... Doctor Who is one of those things that I do my best to avoid even previews for. Yeah, well, I'm the news guy, so I'm gonna... I have to read shit. Yeah, I know, and I'm the host, so I've got to listen to it. (laughs) Oh, don't worry, I won't go into that one, because I want to leave that one alone. Yeah, we'll definitely do a recap on Who when it's done, and... um... I've only got a few episodes left. (laughs) Yeah. I think we've only got three episodes left. Yeah. I think uh, this is... That this was 11 was the one that just went past, so... Was it, or was I it think, 10? How many more seasons do you think we'll get with this Doctor? Um, I'm hoping at least two more. Yeah, this I know we're going to have at least one. I don't know. We, yeah, we got to, we, we know he's back for next season. It's whether he does another season or if we get re- or if regeneration happens. Yeah. To, to be honest, I think he's... They're not quite sure what to do with him as the Doctor. He has the potential to be the best Doctor there is, but because they're sort of unsure what direction they want to take the show... Also, kind of getting out. sick and tired of the sunglasses now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't know about the sunglasses for the... the instead of the Sonic I missed the I missed the guitar. Can we have the guitar back? Well, I was, I was going to say, uh, Sonic, yeah. Sonic guitar. Every time you, every time you try, it's it's like that's not even the right sound. Doesn't matter. It's awesome. It's not awesome. So, ah, oh, the guitar's awesome. You be quiet. So, yeah. anyway, let's shift again from from Doctor Who. Sorry, hold on. I'll mute it. AJ, who did you piss off? <laughs> Why are you being chased by the police? Be in the car. Getting randomly chased by the police again. I don't know. Well, Actually, I just have a bunch of water. Maybe just chasing it down. Uh, so. Anyway, really quickly, before we um, let Eugene do his models, I just want to touch base with Supergirl. Um, have you guys been keeping up to date on it? Yeah. I, 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 saw, I saw the, the pilot. That's it. No. I saw the first two. Yeah, it's... I'm finding it very average. It's sad. I saw it had, it had it's Boulevard. That's sad to hear, because I thought the pilot showed a bit of promise. Yeah, I know. Because the yeah. pilot, it looked like it had a good amount of potential, but... Yeah. Yeah. 
I think it's because the show is still finding its feet. Like, I'm going to give it a season, like I do with every new show. Yeah. You need to give it a season or two to find its stride. Flash? Well, Flash didn't... Flash took, like, half a season, and that, that back half of season one was amazing. Yeah, but it's because Flash springboarded off Arrow. Yeah, true. <laughs> so, it, it sort of continued Arrow's stride, so... Well, I mean, if you look at Star Trek, every every Star Trek series takes at least, like, three seasons to get their shit together, so... <laughs> yeah. You can say that again. Wow. The exception of the original. So... Yeah. Um, well, even with Stargate, it ta- if you watch Stargate from the very beginning, it takes it two seasons to sort of really find its groove. Agreed. I uh, learnt one thing. Yeah. I'm so glad I didn't watch Stargate Atlantis before I went and saw McKay. Why? <laughs> um, I was re-watching it the other day, and it's in season two, when he's stuck in the bottom of the ocean. Yeah. The comment he made to Samantha Carter. What? About the whole, um, yes. this he is, this had is... the rump. Uh. What? Oh, God. <laughs> I remember the episode actually referred to. He has a major bump on his head. Yeah. Yeah, and he's halluc- he hallucinates Carter. Down to the bottom of the ocean with him. Yeah. And just the whole comment of, are you here to have the first uh, rump with me? Yeah. And just the first and just going, yeah, yeah, I'm glad I hadn't watched it first. Yeah. Wait, wait, yeah, I'm well, sorry, I'm still lost. The first what with me? First time with him. What? I'm trying to keep it PG. Like Hanky Panky. Yeah, yes. it, it, it's sort of like, this is, oh. this is my fantasy. Why are you still wearing clothes? And she just looks at him and like, shut up. <laughs> That's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, yeah. Except she, then they end up working out what to do. Yeah, exactly. So, but anyway... Back to Supergirl. Um, the, see the, I think the problem with Supergirl, the biggest problem with Supergirl, is that she's too much like Superman, and I don't think Superman can really have that much of a sort of a... In a story, you need to think you're cap- the good guy's going to die at some point. Supergirl's got the same problem as Superman. She's effectively God-level character. Yeah, She's but I thought, I thought no they addressed weaknesses. that in the pilot because they had the the other aliens that were kind of could take her out. Like in the pilot, she almost died. Um, to a point, but yeah. in the first couple of episodes, she gets her ass kicked, but she doesn't actually. There's get... no real peril. Yeah, there's no real peril. Ah, so it's it's more of her going around trying to be a hero and screwing up. <laughs> so she but... hasn't played with her powers since she was a baby. So. Yeah. Yeah. It's just a child. So, yeah. So, I'm de- I'm definitely curious as to where they're going to take it, but I'm not sort of overly enthused. I'll definitely rate the three shows at the moment anyway: Flash, Arrow, Supergirl. Oh yeah, so. Flash is on top, especially after the their last episode. Oh that, yeah, that <laughs> that that, that just, everyone just that just cemented that Zoom is way scarier than than Wells was. Yeah, exactly. And I still think it's his dad. It, it's either it's either um, Earth to Barry's dad or Earth to Barry. It's the only way that everything makes sense. Yeah. So anyway, I think it's about time we gave the microphone over to Eugene and let him do his model kit review. There's a microphone. And <laughs> hello. Uh, this week's model review is the one thirty second scale Terminator model kits by. Pegasus Hobbies. These are some fantastically detailed kits. One of the nice features is being their 132nd scale, that means that they are in scale with the, or close enough to scale with standard military model kits. So if you wanted to put a tank up against one of the hunter killers, you could, or recreate the scene where the A-10 Warthog goes after a hunter killer you could do that uh pegasus hobbies has three kits out in this line there is a set of five uh t800s on a little diorama base 
there's the flying hunter killer and there is a terminator um, tank uh, retail price on the T-800s and the hunt aerial hunter killer is about forty dollars the hunter killer tank retail is about ninety dollars now that the hunter killer tank is a big kit because it is 132nd scale and anybody who remembers the movie remembers those things were big so oh, that that is a big kit so what you're saying um, is the terminators really need to compensate for not having any yeah uh now one word of warning um for anybody that does these kits uh, Pegasus Hobbies does not use your standard um, polystyrene for their model kits. So before you go painting them, you may want to test your paints on the okay. sprue the sprue beforehand because as what they use is something that's a little bit different and certain types of paint don't adhere well or become, remain tacky. So you might want to look at using an acrylic paint instead of an enamel. That's, and that's my review for this week. Uh, do you want me to go ahead with the two updates for the that I have and just do them now? Yeah, do them now, and then we'll move straight into the news after that. Okay. Um, a couple weeks ago, I mentioned two Kickstarter projects, Star Trek Pirates Cove by Stephen Fender. They have, they're up to over $3,700 with eight days to go. If he, the next, uh, he's got a reward level at 4000 which will give everybody two more Star Trek patches. So if you like the Star Trek books, uh, take a look at, look at uh, Star Trek. Pirates Cove on Kickstarter and Star Trek Renegades is up to 216,000 out of 300 or 217,000 I was in on Kickstarter uh, they have 16 days to go they've added one new reward level in which you can get the Renegades communicator pin and they have another um, reward coming that should be posted either today or tomorrow. I can't tell anybody what it is, is because it hasn't been posted yet. But it's awesome. Uh, watch, huh? It's awesome. That's all you need to know. Is it's awesome. It's awesome, and it will be post and details will be posted either today or tomorrow. So watch their their page. Those are the updates I that I have. Funny. Amy, what are you eating? No thanks, sorry. She's eating a microphone. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Eugene, I didn't know you were you were involved with Renegades. Uh, just indirectly. Yeah. Ah. So, uh, Stuart, it is time for the news. Yep, and we'll start um, the news uh, closer to home with the announcement yesterday that Garrison Seven is going to be at Supernova. Oh, yes. I told you to keep an eye on their page, didn't I? So, <laughs> so, so Arison 7 is going to Supernova. Um, quite a few other people are going to be there. They're also going to have a heap of their props. Now, a lot of this stuff hasn't been announced, so I'm being a naughty boy by telling everyone. Um, <laughs> Scott, if you're listening, turn it off now. Yeah, Scott, just, just, just dial it down. <laughs> just Before it. you turn it down, Scott, is this what you've been trying to get a hold of me in the past three days to tell me? Yeah, pretty much. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, no. so he's going to have a heap, a heap, of the, heap of the props are going to be there. Um, they're going to have some boxes that you can have your photo taken inside. Um, there's going to be all sorts of cool stuff, and they're even going to have a competition running, I think. Pretty sure about the competition. So make sure you jump over to the Facebook page for Garrison 7, which is now called G7. Or to the Supernova page, which has got the pictures shared. I think it's the second or third post they've down. Third, third post. Or the Facebook page, our Facebook page, which is it's shared on there as well. Yep. So, yeah, it's definitely going to be really good, so I can't wait oh, yeah. to go. 
Yeah, well, we're only a week it's... out. It's next week. Yeah, I know. God! <laughs> so it's... I hope my cosplay can rise in time. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So they changed the name of Garrison 7 to G7? Uh, no, they're still calling it Garrison 7. They just changed the Facebook name to G7 because there's a few other Garrison 7s on there. So, like, bands and stuff. So they wanted to sort of make Stand it a bit out. different. Yeah. Thanks for letting your actors know, Scott. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't actually mentioned that you're in it yet, so... Spoiler. Good work. Spoiler. Well, he, he gave me the go-ahead to, to say that I'm in it. And okay. I'm supposed to come on, on the, uh, on the uh, IMDB soon, so I, I, I don't know, you know. Sweet. So uh, are you coming over for Supernova? Um, I, I, I can. I'm open to it. Um, <laughs> you know, I think that's a Scott question. Scott, please bring me over for Supernova. I want to go to Australia again. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's, well, yeah, it's, it's definitely going to be good. And don't feel bad if you miss out on Garrison 7 at this Supernova. There's a yeah. good chance they'll be going to quite a few others. Oh, yeah. So, so yeah. Yeah. But something else I'm not really meant to talk about. <laughs> I'm a now bad boy. To, and now to start with some eh, news. Oh god. Hasbro has unveiled the first Transformers Five logo. I'm glad I don't know what it is, and I've deleted it from my brain already. <laughs> <laughs> Let me guess. They looked at our list of short films ideas, six words or less, and went <gasps> that one. <laughs> <laughs> Well, what it is so far, it um half of it is um the Autobot um is half the Autobot face, and the other side has is the number five. That's oh, what the wow. logo is. How creative! <laughs> Not. I don't know how I could be more creative than that. Anyway, yeah, I just yep to Transformers, so yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, moving on and. What do you know? We got more Star Wars news. <laughs> is it their Star Wars news? Oh, most important Star Wars news. Most important Star Wars news. Battlefront comes out in two days. No. No, no, no. In thirty days, exactly, we will be doing a podcast about it and ruining it for everybody. <laughs> 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 Screw you, Michael, we're gonna ruin it. <laughs> yes. In 30 days minus t almost 10 hours, I'll be sitting in the cinema watching it. Yeah, I've got midnight um, session tickets, so booyah! Same. So. Wait, when's Star Wars being released yes, for you guys? We Seven... get it a day earlier. We get it on the 17th of the 11th. 11th? I hate you. Sorry, 12th. I'm tired, my brain ain't not working. Motherfucker, it's not today. <laughs> <laughs> Later, bitches! <laughs> You're getting it tomorrow? <laughs> no, no. We, you guys are getting it on the 18th. We're getting it on the 17th, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Yeah, I, I hate you guys. <laughs> so, and, and what we're doing is we're doing a midnight. We're doing the midnight screening, me and Stuart. And then I'm dragging him onto the podcast, and we're doing a podcast at like 3 o'clock that morning. Can I at least get out my Jedi gear first? I don't want to be... Nope. God damn it. <laughs> Why not at least take the boots off? So, you guys are dressing up for it? Oh, oh fuck yes. Yeah. Oh, fuck <laughs> yes. I'm not going. Oh. I have a lightsaber next to me at all times. <laughs> so, so, walk out of the Phaser's midnight still a better screening. weapon. What? Phaser's still a better weapon. I can see you can make a real one now. Yeah. That was pretty I'll cool. I'll give him that. So, yeah. Anyway, yeah, we're doing midnight screening, walking out. Sort of, Stuart's going home, I'm going home. We both live about the same distance away from the the cinemas that we're going to. And then we're immediately going to be well, recording like, you a can drive, I've got to get a taxi. Yeah, it, it takes me 15 minutes to get from my cinema to my place. Still got to get a taxi. Yeah, well, have fun with that. Do yeah, you guys anyway. not have Uber? Oh, uh, well, we have Uber, I we, guess. We, we, we have Uber, but we're in the position where Uber drivers get pulled out of the car and the shit kicked out of them. Yeah. <laughs> Right, so don't use Uber. <laughs> so, yeah. Because over here, there's ridiculously strict laws on taxis. And in order to set a taxi up, it costs like $200,000 to get the taxi set up, to get the licensing, to get it checked, to get, pass all the safety checks and all that sort of stuff. 
and they're <laughs> livid that someone who has not had to do that can rock up and do effectively their job. So, yeah. Anyway, anyway Stuart, back, news. Back to, back to, yeah, back to the Star Wars news. We have a new character that was revealed. Admiral Ackbar. <laughs> well, technically... He did. He did get. We did get a first look at him actually, um, in the new TV spot, which I'll mention later. But uh, the new character is Constable Zuvio, who looks. I, I'm guessing is um, law enforcement on Jakku because it looks like the desert planet in the back behind them. Yeah. So I'm guessing they're sort of they like their security and stuff. Yeah. There's not too much on them. Well, we've got a month. So. Yeah, there's still plenty. Oh, actually, I want to address this. For all the people complaining about that we've seen too much, if you actually count all the scenes we put and how much time it actually is, it is six minutes out of a two-hour-long movie that we've seen so far. Stop your bitching! Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. I like, like, the, like, I like I the name Liam Nielsen. I can understand if it was like half an hour or more because that's a good chunk of the movie gone. But six minutes! Come on! Mo- and, most, off. and most of that six minutes is like seven frames. Yeah, like, come on. Knock it off, people. Yeah, dial it down. You're at 11. Stop, need stop, me to stop two. Stop bitching for bitching's sake. Yeah. If you have any hate mail, send it to, send it to me because I'm more than happy to deal with it. Okay, so the hate mail address is... <laughs> <laughs> SaveSciFi.com <laughs> We've really got to get you a steward at SaveSciFi email account so I can just send <laughs> all of the hate mail your way. Um, anyway, keep going. News! Yeah, um, yeah and so as I said, uh, we had a couple uh, new... T- we had two new TV spots come out last week. One on ABC and one on Cartoon Network. Nothing too major except for one thing that I, I noticed. Finn is attacking a Stormtrooper with an Electro Staff. Nice. Clearly, if Stormtroopers can't shoot anything, they've now been they've now been trained to wax shit. Yeah. Yeah. But it puts an interesting fan theory on that. Um, Finn isn't Force tra- isn't like a Jedi. Yeah. But he was trained in in um melee combat, like all the Stormtroopers are and stuff. Yeah, that'd be an interesting. Spin. Hence why he's able to somewhat use a lightsaber. Yeah, and sort of. Crap his pants when someone who is four strained rocks up. <laughs> yeah. So. Um. Yeah. Moving along to um. Flash. Just, Flash. Sorry, sorry, just really quick. I just Wait, had a, I just had a very JJ Abrams idea. Oh Do boy. you think it's beyond him to film and release trailers like we've seen? But that footage is just filmed for the trailers. It's not actually in the movies, and the movie's totally different. And he's just trolling everybody. <laughs> No, I think that's gonna be because if you look at the background in that scene, it's the um, it's the uh, jungle planet. Oh, like, yeah. you know, I'm, I, I, I know, I know, I know. I'm just saying, but oh, although it would be the whole trailer, way. every shot in the trailer, every one, the the entire trailer was filmed separately, just to fuck with fans. I don't we think the whole Kylo Ren vs. Finn thing separate though. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past him. Eh. So anyway, yes, flash news. Yeah, so, um, spoilers for anyone who hasn't watched the episode last week, Barry can't use his legs anymore. Yeah. But... He'll learn to walk on his hands and run that way. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hilarious. Actually, no, the, the, the way that could be funnier is if he's, he does the whole running with his hands and his body's sort of parallel to the ground, and his legs <laughs> are just haphazardly flapping in the air behind him. I was supposed to say, running on his hands reminds you of a really creepy enemy out of the Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. <laughs> but yeah, um, the, however, uh, uh, Grant Gustin, uh, p- uh, the actor who plays Barry, pulled up a post on his Instagram um, with Barry in the flash suit. With the hashtag speedy recovery and a lightning bolt hitting him in the middle of the chest. So, he's obviously going to get his speed do it. back. Yeah. He's obviously going to get his speed back. I'm just sad that we don't see Barry without powers for longer. Yeah. Well, I wonder... know what to do. Well, now we've, got Adam, now we've got Adam back. Can you imagine everyone from Arrow rocking up? So you've got Arrow, um, Black Canary, White Canary... Atom, all of them, Diggle, taking on Zoom. Because it took quite a few of them to take down 
<laughs> Zoom flash. would still kill, kick all their asses. Oh yeah. I'm, so I'm sorry, Zoom is just on a whole nother level. <laughs> yeah. And keeping on the Arrow and Flash news, um, the crossover episode, which is going to be the um, mid-season finale for um, for the two shows, are going to have nine superheroes. Wow. We're going to have Green Arrow, Speedy, Flash, Canary, Diggle, and, spoilers, Hawkman and Hawkwoman. I wonder when they were going to get introduced. Well, because, um, we, well, Hawkwoman's sort of been introduced, because yeah. she's the, she's the barista at, um, at the coffee place. Yeah. In, um, Flash, but I don't know how they're going to do, uh, Hawkman. That'll be interesting. But you see them in their outfits. And the episodes, and the, um, the episode, the, uh, two crossover episodes are called The Legends of Today and The Legends of Yesterday, leading up to The Legends of Tomorrow. Uh, oh, okay. So, yeah, be so, yeah cool. that's that's how that's that's how all of that ties in. <coughs> nice. So yeah, lot of that news. Yeah. Um, I am gonna briefly talk about Doctor Who. I did say I was gonna briefly talk about the um, the final two episodes. Yep. The synopsis are out, and let's just say the Doctor is gonna be pissed off, and I'm going to leave it at that. You do spoilers. If I was you like do doing cliffhangers. If I was going to do spoilers, I'd ruin where they're going to be, where the episodes are going to be set. Yeah, and that's not going to happen. They would never find I'm... your body. <laughs> I'm leaving that one alone. Yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing how they're going to do that. So, so anyway, um, Simon, do you want to give a shout out to Thirty Ten where we can get more information and stuff like that? Uh, yeah, probably the best uh, place is Facebook. Um, so if you just search 3010 Universe, you'll uh, come across the page. Sweet. Uh, Eugene? Your shot? Um, huh? Oh, PerryCountyHobbies.com. EJ, Nobility? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> some, shitty, some shitty show that, co- that um, premiered at uh, um, Stanley's Kamikaze. Yeah, the worst, the worst Watch sci-fi convention it. around. Watch it. No, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no it's. Uh, ah, uh, you. Uh, I know, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm playing around. <laughs> uh, Facebook.com slash nobility of the series uh, at nobility series on Twitter and nobility of the series dot com. Right, let's do it, Garrison Seven. Uh, yeah, you can. Why am I plugging Garrison Seven? <laughs> But uh, Garrison 7 have a Facebook page, uh, G7, and as we said, they're going to be at Supernova uh, Pop Culture Expo for Brisbane. Yeah, sweet. Sweet, I think that about covers it. Amy, do you want to plug somebody just for no apparent reason? <laughs> Can I plug my cosplay page? No. <laughs> Amy, plug Stuart's cosplay page. <laughs> oh, well, plugs um, Save Sci Fi. <sighs> it's at SaveSciFi.com. On the face and the Facebook page. Facebook.com slash save sci fi and Facebook.com slash save sci fi podcast. One thing that happened a couple of weeks ago and I completely forgot to mention it. You have exactly a minute. <laughs> um, so, Rooster, so a couple of weeks ago, Rooster Teeth did a 24 hour live stream. For oh, <laughs> I know where this is going. <laughs> I, there were many, many funny things that happened, but the total, I'm going to talk about the total amount that was raised, was over 556. This is uh, five hundred and sixty thousand dollars in twenty four hours. Yeah, Michael got tased twice. Michael I don't got they... tased. Gus got drunk off his head, and they couldn't get the barbs out. <laughs> oh, that's brutal. <laughs> that was funny. When was this? What? What? What was this? I got half a million. And where can I have some? Uh, it was funny. So, anyway, uh, that's it for this week's podcast. Uh, we'll catch you next time. Same same place, same start time. Um, we'll be def- we'll be covering su- the lead up to Supernova, all the announcements and all that sort of stuff. We'll I don't actually remember what else I've got lined up for that show. To be honest, for that I'm going to blame EJ, <laughs> just because he's the person that I can see on Skype right now. So definitely EJ's fault. Hi. <laughs> Bye. Catch you guys next time. Goodbye. Bye.